Darby, welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. I have on the pink do-rag. We are bare face because today we are putting on some makeup. As you can see by the title, I picked up some new things. I asked on my Instagram at Mellow Darby, what are some new products? You ever just feel like you wanna just buy makeup? I just wanted to buy some new makeup, try some new things, so I asked. And one size was a pretty popular answer. So today, we are trying some one size products. I have not done a makeup review in a while. Um, in general, I don't buy as much makeup as I used to. I kind of miss the days of like the YouTube girls and the Ikea desk full, full of makeup. But um, I definitely kind of stick to my favorites right now. I think I did a video on like my two favorite foundations. So tag that there. But I'm excited to try some new stuff today. I've got everything all set up here. Like I said, we're testing out some new stuff. This is going to be a first impressions for me. Um, I swatched the one the foundation that I'm going to be trying today. I swatched it just to try to um, color match in Sephora. I'm not going to hold you. I wasn't impressed. So I'm excited to try these today and to see what we think. So let's get into it without further ado. You know, I am a detail girly, so we're going to get into the details of one size. So one size is by the one and only Patrick Starr. Like I said, if you are a YouTube girl, if you are a makeup girl, you know who Patrick Starr is, one of the like YouTube OGs when it comes to beauty. And he came out with a line of makeup products available in Sephora, also on the website, called One Size. Um, some of these products went pretty, I guess, viral over the summer. People said Beyonce was wearing the setting spray, which I did not get because I, I'm sticking to what I know there, but I did get, however, the primer. So this is the One Size Secure the Blur Magnet Primer. So they also have Secure the Sweat. Um, we are going into winter. While I am a combination girl, the blur of it all just was a little bit more attractive to me versus Secure the Sweat. I don't have a lot of issues with um, face perspiration. So blurring is a little bit more what I'm drawn to because of the texture of my skin and things like that. So Secure the Blur, because you know I'm going to give you the details and the things, is $34. It claims to be an instantly blurring, hydrating primer that minimizes pores, evens out texture, and controls shine while gripping makeup for all day ultimate wear. Secure the blur, secure the beat. Now, it is six o'clock right now. I'm going out tonight. And so I won't be doing all day, but I will be talking, drinking, eating outside, you know, for a few hours, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a, a wear test. Um, like I said, it says 94% of people said secure the blur makes their skin look and feel smoother. I do have some texture, so we are gonna try that out. Use before complexion products to prep skin and elongate makeup wear. Use alone over bare skin to control shine and blur. So I do get some shine. And it says, Patrick usually uses a powder after his primer to further fill in pores. Now I will say they do have a powder primer, I mean a powder foundation. I am going to be using a the liquid foundation today, which I'll get a little bit more into. But let's go ahead and check it out. I haven't even opened this, but the girls are saying, they're throwing around the word holy grail. So I had to see what this was about. So here is the packaging for this. You are getting 1.2 ounces worth of makeup. I am trying to decide if I wanna use my hand to apply. I'm gonna use my hand. Sometimes you need to warm up um, primer. Now previously I have been using um, milk makeup primer. So, and I'm like die hard for that. I've been using Milk Makeup Primer, so that is what I'm kind of comparing it to. I don't want to put on too much, but I do want to cover all the areas to see if it's really going to do what it says it's going to do. I almost feel like, did I put enough? I don't want to put on too much is a problem. Okay. So right now, I don't see any pilling or anything. I'm going to pull you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I do have a mirror here, so if you see me kind of looking down, I'm just trying to see any texture changes. So, it's almost more of like a lotion texture in the application. Um, I know there are some that are almost like a silicone, which for me, I personally don't like. I do find with those is when I get like the pilling and stuff. I'm gonna give this just a second to kind of, not dry down, but kind of soak into my skin. 
Um, as I said, I use Milk Hydro Grip Primer, and that one does kind of perform better if you kind of let it get the grip going to it for your foundation. So let me just give this a few seconds. Got my espresso martini. 30s is for needing caffeine and alcohol together. Things I've learned. Okay, perfect. Let's get into the foundation, which like I said, I swatched the foundation. We'll see. This is the Turn Up The Base Blurring Foundation. Um, I did swatch the powder as well. I am just not a powder foundation girl. It's never been my ministry. I don't know her. It's just not what I usually go for. I really wanted to try it because I know people said they love it. I just wasn't sold and I kind of want to start with what feels familiar and what I know I normally would go for. So the blurring foundation is $35. It says turn up the turn up with the ultimate blur boss this medium to full buildable foundation absorbs oil and provides a soft matte finish for a second skin all day wear now i'm going to definitely test out the medium to full because i'm not a light coverage girl y'all know i like a new face so i'm going to try to push her to full i have this in the shade that looks pretty good i have this in the shade dark two um which shows me dark with golden undertone so I did notice a little bit of a jump between the shades for me. Um, I was closest to this one, but I do feel like there was some room, especially in the deep tones, for maybe a few shades in between. Um, so it says best for oily combination, normal skin. So basically everything but dry skin. I'm, as I said, a combo girl, so that's perfect for me. Unique mousy formula. Soft matte finish, buildable coverage, white rose stem cells, skin mimicking technology, avocado and mango hydro blend, all these things that are supposed to be hydrating, provide her blur finish, lightweight, all of the above. This says, before, before you turn up, I can't talk today. I promise this is my first express martini. Before you turn up your beat, twist off cap and remove foil seal, then apply a small amount with fingertips and gently blend evenly into skin. Entirely versatile for anywhere preference. Hmm. So it says reimagine your typical base routine, whether you use foundation, tint and moisturizer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, I love this. So on the site, it tells you that if you like a light to medium coverage, squeeze a dime size amount onto your fingertips, apply in the center of the face, and move outward. If you like medium, squeeze a dime size onto a brush and apply evenly all over the face. And if you like medium to full, Use a beauty sponge, apply a dime size to the back of the hand, stamp it with the damp beauty sponge, and apply it onto skin and lip. Now that is what I'm talking about because I was definitely wondering like, if it's buildable, how should I build? Give me the instructions. So very excited for this. You get one fluid ounce, here's the packaging. I'll be a little honest, I, I don't know, I thought the package would be a little cuter, but just a standard little bottle, not a pump or anything like that. Uh, I did, think it was interesting it's almost like i'll show you guys it's almost like a lotion bottle how you squeeze it off so i'm going to take this off here this is where the nails come into play okay boom so taking this off here it is as is and then it says to put this top on it just twists back on. I want to make sure I don't like squeeze out any extra product. Okay, whoo! Fighting for my life out here. So, we are going to squeeze a dime size amount. Then it says build to desirable coverage. So, this is what I meant by lotion bottle. It's this little squeeze pump here. So, we're going with a dime size. Is that dime? That is thick. Okay, she is thick. Sponge, I have a beauty blend in Real Techniques. I've kind of been loving this Sonia Kashuk uh, sponge I got from Target while I was on my birthday trip. Oh, it's like a mousse. Okay, okay, apply on the skin and apply another layer if needed. So here's color on me. Okay. I don't wanna to get too close to the camera cause I want you guys to see the realistic finish. I didn't color correct or anything, put on any extra powder. I'm just going to do like it said and just apply with a damp sponge. 
And I'll be honest, and I told the girl this in the store because honestly, she wasn't too impressed either when she swatched it on me with the way it covered um, some of my areas that have a little more hyperpigmentation. Because of who it's by and um, Patrick's usual makeup style, I was honestly expecting like full, oops, sorry, I hit you guys. I was expecting like full coverage, immediate, full beat. I'm not gonna do too much on the first application because it says, Let's set and apply another layer if needed. So I'm gonna do what it said to do. I like to follow the rules. I feel like you cannot give it a fair shot if you don't actually do what they tell you to do. So I would be interested to see how this applies with the brush though, but we're gonna follow the rules right now. I'm doing a very thin layer. Color wise, I think that's pretty okay. Um, in the description box, I will put the foundations that I usually wear, what my color is, um, I think in NARS it's Macau, but again, check the description box because I'll make sure I go back and actually reference them. She said that it, like it can give BB cream, the girl at Sephora said it can give BB cream if you just do it thinly and it's definitely given that. I'm not a BB cream girl. I'm go big or go home. Go beat or go bare, basically. So let's go beat. I'm gonna do another dime size. Now see, this is gonna be interesting for me because to get full coverage B, I don't wanna have to use half the bottle. So like, yes, it can be medium to full, but I don't wanna have to, you know, be buying a new bottle next month because every time I put it on, I have to use a dime size four times. So, okay, we're starting to cover some hyperpigmentation. I don't see too much of like a makeup mustache coming in. Definitely on the cheeks is where I need coverage and blurring. I'm packing it on, let's go. I'm going to the gay bar tonight, so they will appreciate a full face. Okay, I don't know how she's coming up on camera, but I'm not mad at it. I think two pumps might be enough, which is good because I was gonna be like, don't push it, like I'm not using when I say two pumps, I mean two squeezes on the back of my hand, but I didn't want to have to use, you know, like I said, a lot of product. Okay. On camera, I feel like it's definitely showing up redder, which makes me a little nervous for how it might oxidize throughout the night. Um, I keep focusing here because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation on my lower chin area. Um, I've started using turmeric soap again to try to lighten that, but for now. I have some hormonal breakouts, like she's got some coverage, she's got some work to do, so I'm putting her to the test. Okay, I don't even usually do my foundation with the sponge, so this was different for me, period. So here is it bare, no concealer, um, no powder over it, nothing like that, just as is. I'm looking to see, I feel like I might be getting some patchiness and texture around my mouth, but I am going to do the full face and then as I kind of let it sit, I'll be, I'll let you guys know what I think on my final thoughts for this foundation primer combo. Let's slap the rest of this face on. Okay. Um, I haven't done like a full video on this brand, but another brand that I wanted to try it was Pat McGrath. This concealer, she's good. Pat's not cheap, but we might be on to something with this concealer. Hey, Taffy. Taffy is like begging to get in the picture right now. This is in the shade M17. Hmm, I'm trying to decide how dramatic I wanna be. This is the Juvia's Place um, liquid brush. This blush, this is in the shade Coral Rose. I've kind of been into this a little bit lately too. I'm a blush girl, but I've never been a liquid blush girl, so. Okay. Let me tell you something. 
When Charlotte, when Charlotte made this airbrush bronzer, yeah, in her biggest bag, this airbrush bronzer is so good. It really makes me want the um, her like brightening powder because whoever's doing her powder formulas, they're on it, and it's so big, and you get so much product, and it's so pigmented. It's just, it's actually infuriating. Okay guys, so this is the final face. Um, I have not sprayed or anything like to really melt it down because I wanted to just see the foundation in its raw, pure existence. I'll be honest, I was expecting to tell y'all like, it's good, but it's not great. Like, you don't have to have it, it's okay. It's probably a little hyped. But as I started applying, and especially because I use a lot of liquid products today, liquid blush and stuff, and just seeing them, sorry my camera cut off. But as I started applying and seeing them all kind of meld together, I really like this foundation. I, like I said, I wasn't impressed in Sephora when I went to buy it. I honestly was feeling like, okay, maybe I just need to review something else. If I don't really like it, why even buy it and like take the time to review it? I don't think it's really doing it for me. But I am actually looking in the mirror, looking on camera. The finish of it looks, a word I don't usually like to use and say I like, very natural. Like this does look very skin-like. It doesn't feel heavy or mask-like. I've had some um, full coverage, like beat, beat, beat. Um, like Kat Von D where it is a little bit heavier, like it's more of a product and you, it doesn't feel like a mask, but it just feels lighter than maybe like a tenant, I mean heavier than maybe like a tenant moisturizer. This still feels very light. Um, I didn't put it in my neck, but it did a pretty good job of covering my hyperpigmentation on my chin, um, as well as my cheek area. And I didn't color correct, like I said, I didn't put any powder down before the foundation to kind of create more coverage. So this is just as is. It blended really nicely with my under eye concealer. The face and the hand is of a little bit of confusion because it looks really good. This is my first time again trying it. I'm going out tonight, so this will give me more of a better chance to see like how it really wears. Um, but in the time that I've started to now, I haven't had any oxidation, whereas some I've had like Fenty, their liquid foundation pro filter oxidized on me before I even finished the review. Like it oxidized really fast. But this looks I don't want to use the word airbrushed because that feels dramatic. But, okay. Okay, I'm going to keep this foundation and test it out more and wear it more and, huh, see how it really performs. Follow me on Instagram at Malu Darby um, for some more updates on this as I continue to wear it. I would love to do a wear test and like check in with you guys tonight, but I will try to make sure at least in the community tab. If you are not subscribed, subscribe. Um, I will make sure I put in the community tab an update on how this wears throughout the night and if I have any like breakthrough or on my mouth or if I feel like there's any separating or anything, but. Okay, Patrick, let me not judge a book. I went in, I told you I went in a little judgy because I just wasn't sure and I'm like, now that I have to eat my words a little bit. Um, again, this is the Turn Up The Base Primer. Let's see, it says BBB Cream Beauty Blur Balm. Okay, so it's more of a balm, I like would like to say. And then the Secure The Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. Combined together, we did not get the spray and the things and the concealer, but I might have to try them now too. So let me know if you have tried one size. Let me know if you are interested in trying it, what you've heard, feedback issues you've had, good things you've had, all the above. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all know everything's gonna be in the description box and I will see you in the next video.